Hey guys, James Casey here. Got the new Aura from Bayou in the back. We're heading down to Long Reef. We're gonna try out how this wing goes. It's typically made for wave riding and free riding. I've been using it the last couple of weeks. Variety of conditions, super strong to super light. Um, waves, no waves, I've been really impressed with it. Extra grunt, extra power. Allows you to go a foil size down to what you normally would, which for me is awesome. Tighter turns, faster speeds. I, I can't wait to try it out today in these conditions. A little bit lighter, but there's waves on offer. Let's get into it. So this is the Aura, the new Aura by Value. I was lucky enough to talk to the designers at Value and basically we talked about what makes a wing good for wave riding. First thing, it's got to be light. Second thing, it's got to have punch and guts to get going in those gusty lully conditions in between the waves. And thirdly, it's got to follow you really well. So if I'm going along, I want it to be able to follow me and not, not flip and twist out of the way all the time. So for me, the Aura does exactly that. Uh, my experience riding it so far, getting up in super gusty conditions just over the way here, riding the wave, just literally follows you, doesn't flip out of the way. And this is a five meter, I've only, I've only tried the five meter so far. It's a big, like it's a big wing to wave ride with. I love riding with a three. The conditions we get here in Sydney, you can't always use a three. We got real world conditions here. So having a five meter that's light enough and Guts enough to get going, even in the lulls between waves when it's offshore, I'm super stoked with it. One of the other features that they've, we've gone through together is at the moment I've got the mini booms on. There's also the option of little handles, saving that little bit extra weight. And just by peeling this off here, unscrewing, attaching, you can basically save another couple hundred grams and have that little bit nicer feeling out in the waves. So that oomph I'm talking about, which I find so important when we're winging out spots like this where you've got big headlands and bays and you're trying to ride the waves in close to the surf, it's, it's really important that when you've got that little gust, you can get up and going almost right away. So for me, the Aura ticks all those boxes and I'm going to try to show you, I guess, that extra oomph and power when you need it. So I'm going to set it up and this is with the, the mini booms. So I feel the booms are a little bit more powerful, it's more rigid. The handles, some people prefer the handles, you're also saving that little bit of weight too. So, that extra oomph, when you're sort of sheeting in, it really powers up and is like a bit of a spring. So as I'm pulling in, it like springs out of it. And I've felt that especially first time winging just around the corner here. I had an epic session, but it was super light, 10 to 15 knots. Normally I would be using a much larger foil. I got away with using my smaller foil because of the power and the, the ease to get going in that short gust um, that I wouldn't have felt so much on the on the VVing one. Yes, yeah, so I've already used it in a variety of conditions, you know, five to 15 knots onshore conditions to five to 25 knots stormy, rainy, blustery offshore conditions. And I guess what I found is it's performing in it all. There's like, I'm not gonna say there's times that I, there, there definitely there were times I was overpowered, but for me, wave riding, I'd always prefer to be overpowered and be able to just sheet out and free wing, have it follow me, then be underpowered and get the wave on the head. So I've been super impressed that, you know, it does work in those super light conditions, gets you going early. And then the super windy conditions, obviously no, no problem getting going, but having the wing light, following you really well, staying out of the way while you're wave riding, look, I couldn't be happier. The other thing that's different from the V-Ving 2 or the V-Ving 1 is the deflate valve. This is something that's new. It just allows when you're packing up, you can deflate this middle strut as well as the leading edge. It all happens a bit quicker. It also means when I'm doing my deflate downwinders, I'm getting the air out of the wing way quicker, which for me, when I'm trying to shove it under my arm and, and send it down the coast, I love it. It's really good. So another one of the features that I think this wing works super well for wave riding, and I think all the the value wings do, but this one especially, is the flexibility in this handle. So it has a lot of movement. So when I turn, 
it gives me that little bit extra so the wing doesn't have to follow the exact turn. I've used other wings where it doesn't have this flexible handle and it means the wing's always following you and I've actually twisted my wrist a couple times because the handle wasn't flexing. The other thing that's an improvement on these new Auras is there's a little like soft cushiony pad um, on some of the previous wings I've used. I've got like a graze on my knuckle because when I hold the handle, it, it rubs up against the, the seam. They fixed that for me because I complained about it and it's a nice soft handle so my knuckles aren't going to be busted up no matter how many waves I get out there with the wing behind me. Hey guys, I've just been out there pretty much all afternoon. Sun's just gone down so I had to come in. The new value aura was epic. Epic little downwinding stuff out the front. Around the corner, epic clean offshore waves. Just enough power to get going on my little foil so I could ride the biggest waves I could. The new aura is epic.